Hello, I'm State Representative Steve Smick. I'm speaking to you from the Broadkill River, one of the 27 navigable waterways in our state. Delaware's inland bays, rivers, and harbors are essential to our state's tourism industry and local economies. There are more than 59,000 boats registered in the first state. In 2012, Delaware ranked ninth in the nation with more than $481 million in spending on new power boats, outboard engines, trailers, and accessories. Additionally, boating generates hundreds of millions more in economic activity throughout the state. The quality of boating depends on the quality of our waterways, which require constant attention. Channels need to be regularly dredged and channel markers need to be maintained. Keeping channels in good order not only improves navigation, it helps boaters avoid environmental damage and facilitates the beneficial flow of water. Federal agencies charged with performing these services have been underfunded for years, leaving many Delaware waterways degraded. A bipartisan effort led by State Senators Gerald Hocker and Dave McBride and State Representative Ron Gray was recently launched. A group of 17 people, including government officials, commercial watermen, marina owners, and business people, has already held three meetings. Their goal is to explore the issue and suggest possible solutions. Working together, we can find ways to fill the vacuum left by the federal government's withdrawal. Crafting policies to maintain and improve our waterways will protect the environment, safeguard our tourism industry, and produce a better experience for families boating in the first state.